Good day, class. I am Miss Marisol Mendoza, your teacher in technology and livelihood education. You can call me Mom Asel. Today, we are going to learn about computer system services. Let us have first our opening prayer. Lord God, thank you so much for giving us another day to study and prepare for a good life in the future. Thank you for giving us the chance to continue learning amidst the pandemic which caused a lot of changes in our lives. Bless our parents who work hard to support us. Bless our teachers who are doing their best to inspire and guide us especially in these trying times. Bless our country and the people who continue fighting to stop the pandemic. Lord, fill us with your wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Give us good memory so that we might understand and remember what we are going to study now. These we pray in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Bago tayo magsimula, I have some few reminders. Number one, clean your area. Number two, keep those things that are not related for our subject today. Number three, ready your module, pen, and answer sheets. Number four, don't forget to write your name and your sections and the subject before the day of the submission. In this lesson, you will be able to know using and maintaining hand tools. After going through this lesson, you are expected to plan and prepare for a task to be undertaken. Prepare hand tools. Use appropriate hand tools and test equipment. Maintain hand tools. Bago tayo magtungo sa kasunod na activity, sagutan muna ang mga sumusunod. Ihanda ang inyong ball pen at sagot ang papel. Direction. Select the letter of the correct answer. Write your answer on a separate sheet of paper. Number 1. Which tool is used for hardware to stand on prevents static electricity from building up? A. Static mat. B. Hex driver. C. Phillips head screwdriver. D. Wire cutter. Number 2. Which tool is used to loosen or tighten cross head screws? A. Anti static mat. B. Hex driver. C. Phillips head screwdriver. And D. Wire cutter. Number 3. Which tool is sometimes called a nut driver? It is used to tighten nuts in the same way that a screwdriver tightens screws. A. Anti-static nut B. Hex driver C. Phillips head screwdriver and D. Wire cutter Next, number 4. Which Number 4. Which tool is used to strip and cut wires? A. Anti-static mat B. Hex driver C. Phillips head screwdriver D. Wire cutter Number 5. Which tool is used to retrieve parts from locations that are too small for a hand to fit? A. Part retriever B. Lint-free cloth C. Cable ties and D. Flathead screwdriver. Number six. 
which tool is used to clean different computer components without scratching or leaving debris? A. Park Retriever B. Lint-free cloth C. Cable ties D. Flathead screwdriver Number 7 which tool is used to bundle cables neatly inside outside of a computer? A. Part retriever B. Lint free cloth C. Cable ties And D. Flathead screwdriver Number 8 Which tool is used to loosen or tighten slotted screws? A. Part retriever B. Lint free cloth C. Cable ties D. Flathead screwdriver Number 9 Which tool is used to loosen or tighten screws that have a star-like depression on the top? A feature that mainly found on a laptop A. Anti-static knot B. Torque screwdriver C. Phillips head screwdriver D. Wire cutter Number 10 Which tool is used to blow away dust and debris from different computer parts without touching the components? A. Anti-static mat B. Hex driver C. Compressed air D. Wire cutter Okay, let us check for your work Number 1A Number 2C Number 3B Number 4D Number 5A Number 6B Number 7C Number 8D And number 9B And the last number 10 is C Hey, nakuha niyo ba ang mga tamang sagot? Ah, that was good to hear. Class, anong masasabi niyo sa larawan na inyong nakikita? Tama kayo. Ito ay sa loob ng isang computer shop. Nakapunta na ba kayo sa loob ng isang computer shop? Or, meron na kayong computer set sa inyong bahay? sagot niyo ay oo, madali niyong ma-identify kung ano itong mga larawan ng baba. At dun sa hindi pa nakakapunta ng shop or walang computer set sa bahay, try to identify the following pictures. The first picture is correct! That was a monitor. Number two, pictures. Okay, that is a keyboard. Next. Tama kayo, that is a mouse. Next picture. Correct, that is a CP. Last picture. Tama ulit kayo. That is a printer. Let us proceed to our lesson. Those pictures are the hardware equipment and we maintain all this by using right tool for a job. Hardware tools. To complete hardware repairs, it is important to have a toolkit that should contain all the necessary tools. As you gain experience, you will, be, you will be learning which tools to have available for a different types of jobs. Hardware tools are grouped into these four categories. Number one, electrostatic discharge tools. Number one is anti-static wrist trap and anti-static net. 2. Hand tools Flathead screwdriver 
Phillips head screwdriver, dark screwdriver, hex driver, middle nose guard plier, wire cutter, tweezers, part retriever, flashlight. Number 3. Cleaning tool. Lint-free cloth, compressed air, cable ties, parts organizers, and number 4. Diagnostic tools. Multimeter and loop back adapter. Let us have first Electrostatic Discharge or ESDT Static electricity is easily generated by frictions and contacts, tile flooring, plotting, hair fabric, and etc. The friction of moving air alone will charge suspended particles and cause the buildup of a static electrical charge on the people and objects in the environment. Grounded anti-static work mats used with anti-static wrist straps provide the most basic means for the control discharge of electrostatic electricity. Let us have the anti-static wrist strap. It is used to prevent ESD damage to computer equipment. Anti-static mode. Used to stand on or place hardware on to prevent static electricity from building up. Hand tools. A hand tool is a device for performing work on a material or physical system using only hands. The hand tools can manually use employing force are electrically powered using electrical current. Flathead screwdriver Used to loosen or tighten slatted screws. Phillips head screwdriver Used to loosen or tighten cross head screws. Start screwdriver Used to loosen or tighten screws that have a star-like depression on the top Start screwdriver Used to loosen or tighten screws that have a star-like depression on the top A feature that is mainly found on the laptop Hex driver Sometimes called a nut driver It's used to tighten nuts and the same way that a screwdriver tightens screw Needle nose plier Used to hold small parts Wire cutter Used to strip and cut wires. Tweezers. Used to manipulate small parts. Tweezers. Used to manipulate small parts. Part retriever. Used to retrieve parts from location that are too small for your hand to fit. Flashlight Used to light up areas that you cannot see well. Cleaning tools Having the appropriate cleaning tools is essential when maintaining or repairing computers. Using these tools ensures the computer Components are not damaged during cleaning. Lint free cloth. Used to clean different computer components without scratching or leaving debris. 
compressed air. Used to blow away dust and debris from different computer parts without touching the components. Cable ties. Used to bundle cables neatly inside and outside of a computer. Parts organizer. Used to hold screw jumpers, fasteners, and other small parts and prevent them from getting mixed together. Diagnostic tools. Computers are easier to use and more dependable with each new generation or hardware and operating system update. But that doesn't mean they are problem-free. Here's the most popular tool for diagnosing your computer problem. Multimeter Used to test the integrity of circuits and the quality of electricity in the computer components. Loopback Adapter used to, used to test the functionality of computer ports. Proper use of hand Use appropriate of hand tools and test treatment. Proper use of ESDT. The purpose of an anti-static wristwatch is to equalize the electrical charge between you and the equipment. The anti-static mat is a conductor that connects your body to equipment that you are working on. Proper use of hand tools. Screws. Match. Each screws with proper screwdriver. Place the tip of the screwdriver in the head of the screw. Turn the screwdriver clockwise to tighten the screw and counterclockwise to loosen the screw. Proper use of cleaning tool. Keeping computers clean inside and out is a vital part of maintenance program. Dirt can cause problems with the physical operation of fans, buttons, and other mechan mechanical components. On electrical components, an excessive buildup of dust will act like an insulator and trap heat. This insulation will impair the ability of heat sinks and cooling fans to keep components cool, causing chips and circuits to overheat and fail. Proper use of cleaning tools Caution! Before cleaning any device, turn it off and unplug the device from the power source. Computer cases and monitors Clean computer cases and the outsides of monitors with a mild cleaning solution and a damp lint free cloth. Mix one drop of dishwashing liquid with 4 ounces of water to create the cleaning solution. If any water drips inside the case, allow enough time for the liquid to dry before powering on the computer. LCD screens. Do not use ammu ammunated glass cleaners or any other solution in the LCD screen unless the cleaner is specifically designed for the purpose. Harsh chemical will damage the coating on the screen. There is no glass protecting the screens, so to be gentle when cleaning them and do not press thinly on the screen. CRT screens To clean the screens of the CRT monitors, dump in a soft, clean, lint-free cloth with distilled water and wipe the screen from top to bottom. Then use a soft, dry cloth to wipe the screen and remove any sticking after you have cleaned the monitor. Keyboard Clean a desktop keyboard with compressed air or a small handheld vacuum cleaner with a brush attachment. Caution! Never use a standard vacuum cleaner inside computer cases. 
the plastic parts of the back container can build up static electricity. The discharge to the components. Use only vacuum approved for electronic components. Mouth. Use glass cleaner and a soft cloth to clean outside the mouth. Do not spray glass cleaner directly on the mouth. If cleaning a ball mouse, you can remove the ball and clean it with glass cleaner and soft cloth. Wipe the rollers clean inside the mouse with the same cloth. Do not spray any liquids inside the mouse. You can build your own computer repair tool kit with these recommended tools to easily perform and any hardware troubleshooting, upgrade, and maintenance to your computer. Tools and equipment must be properly maintained to provide a safe environment. Proper care and return maintenance of your hand tools and power tools makes any home improvement of repair project easier, safer, and more successful. Proper tool can care also saves your money because the better they care for the longer they last. Ang pangangalaga sa yamang likas ay dapat isa lang alang ng bawat isa sa pang-araw-araw na buhay. Bilang batang mag-aaral, nararapat lamang na gamitin ng may wastong pag-iingat ang mga ito sa tahanan, paaralan at maging sa pamayon. Alamin kung paano ito isa sa gawa. Lagi nating tatandaan, mga kagamit ang material, pahalagahan at alagaan upang ang gawain ay gumaan at umundan ang kamukal. Let us explain what you have learned today in our lesson. Please answer the following activities provided in your module on page 13 to 15. Use provided answer sheet. Okay, time's up! And that is our lesson for today. This is the additional activities for your assignment. I hope you will learn something that you will apply someday. Once again, I'm your teacher, Asa. Thank you and goodbye.